Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Joshua with another custom Gundam MSA review. So it's been a while since I've done, you know, anything remotely Gundam related on my, you know, shitty channel. But um, I figured I would, you know, produce a video today, you know, for for uh, you know, Gundam. So uh, this is the uh, project that I'm currently working on. This is the uh, perfect Zeong figure, and uh, my project's going along, you know quite smoothly. Uh, I was able to manage to uh, do some uh, resin cast of the uh, perfect Xeon legs. Uh, the only thing I'm wor the only thing that I'm waiting on right now is some more you know mold and whatnot. But uh, besides the molding process, um, I actually got this tip from my buddy Josh Joshua Gandamio and um, he just produced a video today and released it and showed all of us how to give the uh, Xeon a little bit more mobility, a little bit more, you know, more, uh, you know, movement and whatnot, mainly in the head and in the, uh, the waist area. So, uh, this is what I'm doing right now. After watching his video, I kind of, you know, copied what he did and, uh, you know, wish me luck. So far, what I've done was, um, I took out both the uh, ball joints in the, uh, the stomach area and the inside of its chest. I took those out, and then what what I did was I actually hollowed out the the original ball joint holes that were holding the uh, the joints in there. So I ho I uh, hollowed those out even more, so it was easier for me to pull out the joints. And what I did was I took some super glue, you know, Gorilla Super Glue Gel, which actually works really good. And I just filled in the cavity. And when I filled in the cavity, what happened was I was able to, you know, basically um, take the ball joint in there and you would just kind of, you know, put it in the uh, proper you know position where I wanted it to be in. And with uh, Josh Gondomi's tutorial, he said that what you want to do with this ball joint is raise it up just a little bit, you know, like so. And I'm guessing this is where, you know, it should be, I hope. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow. So what you want to do is you want to raise it up just a little bit more and, and uh, it'll give you more mobility. And so of course, you know, uh, this little ball joint goes right in there. I'm not going to, you know, put it in or anything like that because it's literally, you know, still wet. The another thing that I did was I actually pulled this ball joint out, did the exact same thing. You know, I, I hollowed out the, uh, the original cavity in hopes that it'll give me a little more, you know, room for mobility for the uh, skirt. But we'll see what happens. Also, what um, Josh Godami did was he did this really cool thing that I actually liked with the head, where he shaved the neck part down, so now it has, you know, some really good, you know, mobility for the neck. And I really appreciate it. It was awesome. That I can actually show you. Because no glue was involved or, you know, anything like that. Yeah, so check that out. Back and forth, up and down. Really great, surprisingly. And all I did was I literally, you know, cut off a little bit of the plastic on the bottom. Um, I don't even know if I have that plastic. I think I might have thrown it away just recently. I did all this within like an hour of watching this video, so, you know, bear with me. But, um, yeah, I just literally, you know, tore off a little bit just to give them, you know, more mobility, and it worked really well. It literally took me about maybe, you know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute just to, you know, cut it down to shape. Um, what I do is, like, I, you know, I cut a little bit of, a little bit of the plastic off, and I used my sexy wireless Dremel and just, you know, shaved it all down a little bit, made it even, and bam, there we go. Um, with this mod, the only thing you can't really do is, you know, make his head go all the way back. And the reason why it's because it has this weird little, you know, nook right there for the helmet. Which, you know, it's fine. If I were to take off the nook, it would, the head would go, would go all the way back. But it doesn't really matter to me. It still looks cool. I just don't really want to ruin the integrity of the, uh, the head of the, of the uh, Zeong. That I'm making right now. But yeah. It's actually really. Really good movement now. 
pretty excited about it. Oh. So you get all that. And by the way, I do have the uh, the late the uh, hand the uh, arms and the shoulder pads. Those are you know off somewhere else. But uh, yeah, the perfect Xeon. It's actually you know it's actually coming coming alive. You got his legs right here. Well, you know, two legs and missing a foot. Again, the reason why he's missing a foot is because I ran out of mold. You know, so the, uh, you know, foot's right in there. I was so fucking pissed, let me tell you. Um, I spent about 12 bucks on this mold that I buy from uh, Michael's whenever I need, like, you know, mold like now. And um, I got it. Originally, it's like 25 bucks at Michael's, but I had a 50% coupon, so it brought it down to, like, 12, 13 bucks after taxes, which really wasn't that bad. But, um, with the, uh, you know, the $13 worth of mold that I bought, I was actually able to make the, uh, the perfect Xeong, you know, thighs and part of the foot. And that's pretty much it. I was a little pissed off about it. I was like, fuck, are you kidding me? No, I need more mold. But, um, luckily for me, I bought some uh, Umu 30 mold off of eBay, which that mold looks, you know, something like this. Yeah. Have a purple, but um, unfortunately, that Umu 30 was supposed to come in today. But um, every now and then, I'll I will run into a, a seller on eBay who will say that they ship my my stuff, but they'll give me like a fake like UPS tracking number or not even give me a, a UPS tracking number. And what's really shitty in that situation is that you have to sit there and wait for about a week or two before you can you know file a claim. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to file a claim today, so I'm going to have to wait for another fucking week. You know, I got to sit there and, you know, find another buyer who's legit. Sorry, a seller who's legit. You know, buy his Emu 30 and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, so, uh, you know, fuck you, eBay seller who took my money and didn't send me my product. But, um, yeah. Perfect Xeon. It's going to be pretty soon, I think. It's going to take me a little bit, you know, a little bit of work for everything to come to, you know, uh, for its completion. But, um, you know, before I leave, I can, I'll just show you some of the other molds. Well, some of the other, you know, resin pieces I've been doing so far. Like, you know, here, for example, here's one of the, uh, one of the uh, you know, resin thighs I've done. This is the right one, the right thigh. And it's really not even cool, there we go. It's not even that bad either. It's, you know, pretty nice. And what I did right here was with the actual, you know, leg, I um filled it up with some resin. And before I fuck. And before I molded uh, this uh, thigh last week, what I did was I had added some, you know, hot glue on here and kind of shaved it down. You know, so that way it'd be more of an even leg instead of have well, even thigh instead of having a big giant gap in there. But um, this is the you know left thigh, and it's actually kind of cool. I wish I did this with the uh, the right thigh as well, but with the um the uh, left thigh actually has the ball joint hole in there, so you don't really have to do anything. Let me see if I can find you guys a uh, piece that I've already shaved down. Because I know I have at least one or two. That one's not even shaved down yet. I gotta take all that shit off. But, um, yeah. What I did with the left thigh is I made it so you can just literally, you know, after you're done painting it and modifying it, just, you know, slap it right on. I can, there we go. It pops right in. Like so. Yeah. Easy. Really wish I did this I did this with the right thigh as well. I mean it would have been so much easier instead of, you know, customizing each and every single, you know, ball joint hole that I 
Yeah. My bad, but oh well. Then also what I did was, um, I'm, uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to put these legs together because I'm, I'm going to be using a, a different technique. What I'm going to do is I have the uh, hole ready right here, as you can see. Um, there we go. So I, I'm going to be taking a, a Dremel and just, you know, Dremeling out this hole. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Make it so that I can actually take both legs and, you know, slide them in together. And there's going to be a hole right here. So they're going to, you know, slide right in. The holes, you know, should match up. And then what I'm going to do is get a, a dowel. Or, um... A dowel or, a, you know, like a, a resin dowel that I've made in the past. And just kind of, you know, slide it right in there. And lock both the thigh and the leg together. Which will be, you know, cheap and easy to do. Then also if uh, you can't get in, also if I can't really get it down there, I'll just, you know, soak the uh, the thigh in the bottom leg in some hot water for a couple seconds and, you know, let the uh, pieces, you know, heat up a little bit. Because this resin right here works kind of like plastic too, so that's it's awesome. Really, really wish the asshole would have sent me my fucking mold for today. I would have been stoked. I would have potentially had, you know, a set of resin cast legs up and going by Sunday. But it's okay, though. And uh, that's all that I have for this uh, custom Gundam review. And if you need, if you guys want, you know, custom perfect Xeong legs, I will have them up for sale very, very soon. I have the molds for them. And, um, realistically, it's probably going to cost about 20 bucks for a set of legs, which is pretty fucking cheap if you ask me. Um, just recently over this week, for shits and giggles, I did go on eBay and look up the Arch Enemy, uh, Gilgig figures on eBay. And the cheapest one that I found was 60 bucks. So, uh, take your pick. What do you think is cheaper? For you to buy a $60 figure still in the package and basically destroy it and in hopes of you know modifying the legs and thighs in order to have it fit the uh, perfect Xeong or uh buy my shit and all they gotta do is maybe paint them and slap them on for 20 bucks so uh you'd be the judge of that but yeah 20 bucks for a set it's pretty cheap and I'm always up for a trade and that's all I've I've got for this review, and if you guys like my reviews, please like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.